and welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today friday the 14th of april 2023 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today of course overnight we saw the u.s equity markets close near the highs of the session very much in positive territory with a soft than expected ppi data and do no harm weekly jobs number that came out as well the dow and the s p 500 are closing in on what is or what will be a technical bull market the Nasdaq is already there, i.e. it's 20% off its lows from October. US earnings season kicks off in earnest with big banks reporting tonight. We've got JP Morgan, City and Wells Fargo offering their latest numbers. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading. Asian markets are trading generally higher. ASX is a bit muted, it's about 0.2% up. And European markets are also pointing to a positive open. The VIX is still below 20 support. The US dollar index once again is under significant downside pressure. It's testing 12 month lows at this stage after that data tonight. It is fairly neutral in Asia so far as the hex markets are pretty flat to start the Asian session. As a result of that USD weakness, we saw gold hit 30 month highs and copper also gained and testing monthly highs. Oil has pulled back a little bit from the resistance level it was testing yesterday. Cryptos look as though they've still got some buying pressure going on. Bitcoin has moved through 30,000 and is at 11 month highs. Uh, well worth having a look at that and Ethereum. US earnings obviously in focus, uh, but on top of that, we've got some US retail sales numbers and consumer sentiment later on in the US session. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we talked about ADH potentially testing 211 resistance yesterday as our chart of the day. Uh, that you can see on YouTube, you can see that has absolutely smashed through that 211 resistance in today's session, so up around 5%. Could be more upside in this if we've reached 220, then certainly a 6% move up to test 233, 234 could be on the cards and one worth keeping an eye on if the buying pressure continues. If we look at what's happened during the day, you can see really it did most of its move in that first. 30 minutes after open uh, since then it's pretty flat so it's worth our checking in how it sits in the last hour uh, we're looking at the euro usd for an interesting move we are starting to see some usd weakness creeping in uh, and you can see here on the hourly chart that we've moved up in asia and now we're looking to retest yesterday's highs at around about 110.65 if we look on the daily chart for context, you can see there we've breached the highs we tested at the end of January. And if we put it on the weekly chart, you can see we haven't seen these levels since the beginning of 2022. So we're at 14 month highs and testing the 200 MA on the weekly chart. Uh, possible upside on this to 112 if, if that USD weakness continues. So well worth keeping an eye on the Euro USD. In fact, all of the USD crosses are looking pretty interesting technically. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.